Hello, I'm Raging Amish, and welcome to a rapid fire review of the USR in Call of Duty Ghosts. So, let's dive right in. The first of four sniper rifles, the USR is available for a cheap six squad points, although don't let the price tag fool you. This sniper does things that no other weapon in the class can do. In game, the USR is a bolt action weapon, which means you have a pathetic fire rate. The gun clocks in at a measly 51 RPM. Thankfully, to make up for this slow fire rate, each shot has the potential to kill. By default, each round will do 98 damage at all ranges, which as you can guess, is quite powerful. Go feel the power. Oh, I can feel it. As with most snipers, you will have no damage drop off, but at a glance, 98 points of damage won't get you a kill outright. Instead, since this is a sniper, you have to take into account your multipliers. By default, the USR is one of the weaker snipers out there. You have a 50% damage boost to the head and a 10% damage boost to the neck, upper torso, and lower torso. You have no damage boost to the upper leg, lower leg, or the arms. Using the chrome barrel will change this, however. Said attachment adds a takedown blow to the upper arms and the upper legs. So as you can guess, the chrome barrel is mandatory. Believe me, not using the chrome barrel is downright stupid. Well, maybe it is stupid, but it's also dumb. To round out the USR's performance, you have high penetration power, which can help take down foes behind cover. Overall, the USR's bullet power is a story of Jekyll and Hyde. If you don't use the chrome barrel, the sniper is borderline useless compared to its brethren. But if you do use said attachment, the USR can tango with any long range weapon out there. As for your loadout, this sniper is definitely on the leaner side. By default, you have a six round mag and have three starting mags. You only have 18 rounds to start, which is pathetic. Still, if you can make them count, it doesn't matter. Should you desire more ammo though, you top out at 42 rounds. The USR is a bit unusual though once you get into the overall pace. By default, this is the fastest sniper in the game, moving at 90% of the norm. Your hip fire spread is what you'd expect as it's huge, but the ADS time is relatively fast for a sniper at 400 milliseconds. Typically, snipers don't move all that quick, but the USR is a definite exception. That speed doesn't continue into your reloads though. By default, the USR is terrible in this department. The mag refills in 3.5 seconds, or 4.7 seconds if completely empty. Either way, you have a 2.27 second add time. If you need to reload, do it in a quiet corner, or switch to your secondary and then go looking for a quiet corner. Simply put, you shouldn't be reloading if you're in a pinch. Wow, what a totally amazing, excellent discovery. Not. And finally, for your kick, it's barely worth mentioning the recoil profile. Yes, it's high, but it doesn't matter. Neither does the center speed at 600, which may sound low, but again, makes little difference. What is critical here is the fire rate. Since the gun shoots so slowly, you will recenter between shots, so kick is a non-issue. The only downside to the USR is that should you miss, the gun moves enough between shots that you will need to reset and find your target again. Overall, I think this is a sniper to enjoy. Provided you pick the chrome barrel, and really, why wouldn't you, the USR offers high mobility, strong shots, and no damage drop off. On the flip side, the visual kick can be annoying, the fire rate is abysmal, and reloading can be a pain. The gun rewards tactical play, so it may not be for everyone. That concludes this review of the USR. What should I review next? Leave your comments down below. Until next time, this is Raging Amish, checking out.